from the Summerlin area of Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the Bears Cup 2007. Hello again, everybody. I'm Greg Porter for George Landman Video Sports Productions. This will be the girls under 11 silver bracket and featuring Heat FC, the Orange 98 team, and the 97 Velocity White team from Alaska from the Cook Inlet Soccer Club. Heat FC will be going in all orange, going from left to right, and uh, Velocity White will be going from right to left on your picture screen. Let's get the lineups. For the Heat FC Orange 98 team, their goalie is uh, Rainey Paddleford, number one. At forward is Heaven Lopez. Number two at forward is Hunter Johnson. Number three at fullback is Courtney Morrell. Number four at fullback is Sheeston Lynham. Number five at midfield is Sydney Smith. Number six at halfback is Savannah Smith. Number seven at sweeper is Summer Tobby. Number eight at forward is Miranda Bradley. Number 10 at midfield is Ariana Reyes. Number 11 at forward is Mackenzie Sullivan. Number 12 at fullback is Taylor Torres. Number 15 at halfback is Josie Lagarza. And number 18, the guest player is Daisy Cabrera. Now let's get uh, the lineup for the 97 Velocity team from Alaska. Their keeper is Michelle Cole. Number one at striker is Rosie Rush. Number two at striker is Madison Jennings. Number five at midfield is Ashton Evans. Number eight at striker or defender is Taylor Brule Stock. Number 13 at striker or defender is Abby Stahl. Number 15 at midfield is Annie Rush. Number 16 at defender is Megan Martin. Number 17 at midfield is Christine Richter. Number 18 is uh, Rachel Brady. She also plays keeper. Number 21 at defender or mid is Cheyenne Astle. Number 22 at defense is Madison Cranmer. Number 24 at defender is Corinne Early Steinke. Number uh, 30 at defender or mid is Kale Blackmore. Number 31 at striker is Katie Shake. And number 68 at defender or mid is Hannah Andrus. Gonna be a throw in now on the near side. And that ball goes toward the central now. Going, going after it now. On the far side, Annie Rush. She falls down and now Rush trying to chase after it again. And now the Heat FC, they have the soccer ball and they are moving up at midfield. Here's a long ball intended for Ariana Reyes, and she couldn't get to it. Going to be a throw in. Throwing on a far side touchline. Here's Reyes. However, marking very nicely there was Megan Martin. Megan still defending into space. Can't quite get to it. Heat FC still on a soccer ball on the far side. Working a good passing game. We saw them last night in playing against another team, and they uh, really showed their skills at Heat FC. And they uh, won that game seven to nothing. But again, on the other side of the ledger, 97 Velocity White from Alaska won their game four to nothing yesterday. And they are going to throw it in from the far side touchline. Have no score in the opening minutes of the game. Reducing the size of the field, both teams now. Kale Blackmore had a touch there. After it, it's Ashton Evans. And now down to Central, trying to get it there was Abby Stahl, but just couldn't quite get it. However, a teammate has it on the outside, Annie Rush. Dispossessed momentarily, but Annie into space, trying to get the soccer ball back along now <clears throat> with her teammate, Taylor Brule Stock. Taylor, a couple years younger than this age group, but uh, obviously she is pretty talented, and that's why she's playing on this team. 
Now coming into the space there was Hannah Andrus. Nil nil here in the first half of the action. And this girls under 11, silver match. And winning it is Madison Jennings. Jennings now, Jennings on the near side. And she ran it to Summer Tobby and it's going to be a throw in. Heat FC in their own defensive half. Off the header goes out of play. Then throwing it in again. That was Sheaston Lynham. And on it now is uh, Smith. But taken away by 97 Velocity White. Velocity White on the move with Madison Jennings. Jennings on the outside. Jennings uh, moving toward the 18 yard box. And she's dispossessed as there were numbers there for the Heat FC. And we now have a foul called, and it will be a free kick. Free kick in their own defensive third, Heat FC. Nil-nil here in the first half. Greg G.K. Porter, happy to be with you in this match. From the Summerlin area of Las Vegas, Nevada. On a day when it is uh, cloudy, so have a little bit of uh, cloud cover, keeping a certain amount of warmth in. Here on the last weekend of October, and it's gonna be a throw in. And we're gonna have a substitution. Coming in now is Cheyenne Astle, 21. Throwing it in is Christine Richter. And it caroms off. Christine Richter trying to chase it down just outside the box. But also there was Summer Tobby. And Tobby kicking it out of play on the near side. But they say it was off of the Velocity White. And so it's going to be a throw in from their own defensive third, the Heat FC. And the central now it winds on a foot of Madison Jennings. Jennings want to go to the central where they're pass. A uh, couple of challenges there. And the Heat FC come out with it with uh, Sydney Smith. Smith pushing it up forward now to Mackenzie Sullivan. Sullivan on the run. However, coming over there to make the big play was Madison Cranmer. In his space, trying to get it now is Ashton Evans. Evans off the foot there of Hunter Johnson, and it goes past the goal line. It will be a goal kick. MJ. Michelle Cole, your keeper. And now coming in is Rosie Rush. Michelle Cole going to start it on the near side for her attack out of her own half of the field. Now is Christine Richter. Richter with plenty of space, accelerates toward the central and has a player there with Ashton Evans, but she couldn't go anymore as they stand tall at the midfield. Heat FC. Now again, pushing the action there is Christine Richter. And now it goes over to Abby Stahl just for a moment and she's dispossessed there. And uh, in the central with Ariana Reyes, and they work it back over to Sydney Smith. Sydney Smith weaving her way back to Reyes. And they are met there with resistance at the midfield area. Nicely done by Velocity White with Annie Rush. Rush coming out of the midfield. Rush still on a soccer ball. Annie Rush on the far side. Gonna slow the soccer ball up a little bit and then cannot go any further as Playing well in the space that time, Heat FC. As they go back up the field with Mackenzie Sullivan on her rush on, the, on her run on the far side and knocked out of play. Neil Neil, as the sun wants to uh, throw a heat lamp on us from time to time, but not right now. It's kind of cool and uh, beautiful uh, weekend here in Las Vegas as far as the heat is concerned. And, and, and the winds too, because they're not too bad this time of year. Mm -hmm. 
Heat FC along the far side. They got a touch by Reyes. And she won't be able to carry that soccer ball any longer. She's dispossessed nicely that time. Hannah Andrus was involved in the play. And Andrus still has the soccer ball. Andrus now headmans it up to Abby Stahl. Stahl still on a soccer ball and just cannot quite. She was feeling pressure on her backside there and felt maybe that she wasn't going to get the kind of shot she wanted to get. And just took it anyways and uh, just wasn't quite accurate enough. But a nice run. And Andrus started it out at a midfield area. And Stahl trying to finish on that time. Not this time. Annie Rush, though, in on the intercept. Annie Rush, she was trying to get a pass in the interior. And now she does. Ashton Evans strikes it and it's intercepted momentarily Abby Stahl but it winds on a foot of Christine Richter Richter who sends it in the box and chasing it down was Rosie Rush Christine a nice opportunity there and she took advantage of it Rosie just couldn't quite get to it had too much pace on it on the near side as retreating back Velocity White out of Alaska at midfield on it now is uh, Sheeston Lynham. Lynham again finding her teammate. That's Savannah Smith. And now running over to it is Heaven Lopez, and she knocks it out. Savannah Smith over to the foot of Hunter Johnson. And now it winds on to the foot of Ariana Reyes. But she can't go anywhere with it. And it does wind out to the outside of Mackenzie Sullivan. But she's uh, being pressured a lot by Cheyenne Astle. And coming into space nicely was Hannah Andrus there to keep it from going in the box. However, it will be a free kick for Heat FC. Or was there a foul? There was a foul. A handball inside the 18-yard box. And now it's going to be a penalty kick. Adriana Reyes. Michelle Cole, the keeper. So an opportunity for Heat FC to try to get the first goal of the match. Center ref directing the young ladies where they should be. Reyes. The shot and gets it in the back of the net, and it's 1 0. Ariana Reyes off the penalty shot. And so now coming in is Katie Shake. Katie Shake is coming into the contest. And they'll get it started here, down 1 0 after the goal by Ariana Reyes and a penalty shot. Christine Richter now. Back up field now, Savannah Smith. Smith on the near side. Smith been marked well there by Corinne Early Steinke. And had to go the other way. Gonna try it again from the wide. Gonna kick it forward and try to chase it down. Gets to it, but knocked out of play by Corinne Early Steinke. And it's going to be a corner kick. But Steinke thinking very well that time and want to just cut that thing off so her teammates can get in the box and in the defensive half of the field and help out. 1-0, your score in this girls under 11 silver match. Into the 18-yard box. Winning it, Christine Richter.
Corinne early Steinke, but then on the foot of Sheeston Lina. Still in the 18-yard box. A strike by Savannah Smith. Still on the top of the box now. And now going after is Mackenzie Sullivan. But she couldn't hold on to it long enough. And now here come Velocity White. Down to Central with Abby Stahl. Stahl works it to the outside. She has Katie Shake. And Katie Shake now getting it back to Annie Rush. Rush. Going to get it back to Shake, and Shake now pushes it up forward toward the attacking third with Abby Stahl. Stahl now a long shot, and at a tough angle. Partially made up, though, by defensively by the Heat FC. However, an intercept, Ashton Evans. On it now is Rosie Rush. And she's dispossessed there, but coming into space is Corinne Early Steinke. And on the near side, it goes out of play. It'll be a throw in and substitutions coming in to 16. Megan Martin is in the contest, Madison Jennings in the contest. Lee Rachel Brady just came in and throw in by Corinne Early Steinke. And she'll throw it in again here. And gets it over to Hannah Andrus. Hannah Andrus now the central, and it'll be a free kick into space. So 1 0, Heat FC leading here, but a free kick for Velocity White. Ashton Evans off of a bounce. Trying to get it there was Hannah Andrus. Andrus again off the challenge. 50-50 ball, who's gonna come down with it? And it goes on to the foot of Ashton Evans, but she loses it. However, plenty of numbers there, plenty of support. And midfield. Corinne Early Steinke. Madison Jennings now on her turn. Madison Jennings now heads it forward to Abby Stahl. But they had numbers there standing tall on the outside of the box, 18 yard box. But Annie Rush picks it up. And it went off sides call. And has substitutions coming in for Heat FC. And uh, we'll mention those substitutions as they touch that soccer ball for the Heat FC. And three players coming in. One nil in this game. The Heat FC Orange 98 team leading the 97 Velocity White team of the Cook Inlet Soccer Club in Alaska. Heat FC down to Central trying to do something with it, but Rachel Brady Made it tough there. And now Brady has it again. Gonna go out to the wide to Madison Jennings. Jennings on a soccer ball. Jennings now getting a little pressure there by Summer Tobby, but Jennings still staying with it. And Jennings shielding the defender, and she still has the soccer ball. Does that very nicely, gets it over to Hannah Andrus. Andrus back over to Jennings. Jennings now in the box. Jennings still on the soccer ball. Still in the corner. Still being marked heavily, and it goes out of play. And lastly, knocked out by Heat FC, and Jennings will get a corner kick for her team. So the presence of mind to stay with the soccer ball, even though she was marked heavily, has presented a set piece here. And it'll be Hannah Andrus that will take it. Andres, left foot it, has a player there in the six yard box, but just couldn't get another strike on it. We're in early Steinke, and she pushes it into the corner for Andres. Dispossessed there though, and then Corinne early Steinke comes into space. 
continuing to keep the pressure on the Heat FC. Even though down one nil, but that's what you gotta do if you wanna try to tie it up. On the near side. And it also provides another thing. It stops the Heat FC from having more time to even think about trying to add more goals. Hannah Andrus. Throws it in, finds Katie Shake, but then it was taken away and sent toward the central for Daisy Cabrera. And now out to the wide as Heat FC get their counterattack going. Spent a lot of time in their own defensive half of the field that time. Velocity White doing a fine job there. Off a try of a strike there by Katie Shake, but it winds up on the foot of Abby Stahl. Abby Stahl now over to Madison Jennings. Jennings with speed. Madison Jennings still on a soccer ball. Madison Jennings in the box, and it gets run off. However, they will get a throw in. I know they say it was Heat FC will throw it in. And Jennings touched it last. One nil on the near side. We work halfway through the first half of action. Here in the <laughs> Mayor's Cup 2007. And trying to find out who's going to throw it in, and it, the Heat FC is going to have Miranda Bradley throw it in. Miranda Bradley throwing it in. On the near side, it's knocked out. And it will be a, a throw in this time by Corinna Early Steinke. Might have had an offsides call. It looks like that was the call. And it's going to be a free kick for Heat FC, leading 1 0. Very closely contested match here in his girls' under 11 silver bracket. Two teams who know how to control the soccer ball well, know how to pass well. The mindset to play the game very well, and we've seen that so far here in the first half. Ashton Evans will take the free kick. She'll try to get it in the box. Off the deflection, and it's going to wind into the box. Chasing after it is Rachel Brady, but she couldn't quite get to it. Going to be a throw in for Heat FC. Lastly, knocked out by Velocity White. On the near side, they'll throw it in, Heat FC. In their own defensive third. Off of a bounce, they do have a strike there of Sydney Smith. And Smith is able to get it over to Savannah Smith. However, it now winds on the foot of Miranda Bradley. However, Corinne Early Steinke keeps it from going behind her and gets a teammate, a couple of teammates. And now the one with it is Madison Jennings. Jennings in a quarter is knocked down in the box. And let's see what we have. Looked like there was an offsides call. So an offsides call and substitutions coming in for Velocity White. Fresh players. Uh, head coach Roland Stock getting a couple fresh players in there. Taylor Brule Stock is into the contest. Also now, Cheyenne Astle. And to that coaching staff of the Velocity White, Roland Stock, the head coach, Kevin Blackmore, assistant coach, Dennis Martin, also assistant coach, along with Matt Evans. Team manager is Patty Shake. And at midfield now, Heat FC pushing it up the field. And it goes out of play. Lastly, touched down, I believe, by the Velocity White team. So they're going to have a throw in. Heat FC on the far side. 
They've got a couple numbers in that space, and now they, it winds up on a foot of an attacking player, Ariana Reyes, who scored the first goal. And it is over in the corner, a few yards outside the box, but Velocity White coming out with it, playing well on the outside of their box. They want to keep the action going towards trying to get a goal, Megan Martin in that space and we have a whistle and it is going to be a free kick so the free kick upcoming for heat fc leading one nil time running out in the first half of action they're trying to hold on to the one nothing lead tick picking up and putting it back down was mckenzie sullivan and now Sullivan will left strike it, left foot strike it, and it is intercepted by Velocity White. Anna Andrus, and now here comes the speed of Madison Jennings. And Jennings run off the ball that time, though, by Summer Tauby. However, her pass intercepted by Hannah Andrus. Andrus into space after the challenge, still on a soccer ball. Gets it out to the wide to Taylor Brule Stock. And now a nice pass to Abby Stahl. Stahl sandwiched that time, but still trying to get it with her teammate, Taylor Brule Stock. It winds up in the box and a save. My Heat FC's Rainy Paddleford. Now just outside the box, Velocity White still trying to keep the pressure on. Shine Astle sends in a shot. And his save is made. Intercepted again as they continue to try to push it up the field. And they're having trouble. Velocity White still buzzing around in that attacking third. Keeping the pressure on the all orange. Still in the uh, defensive half of the field for the Heat FC. On it, Hannah Andrus. Andrus moving it to the near side. Cheyenne Astle trying to run it down and keep it in. Ran out of real estate on the near side. It'll be a throw in. Miranda Bradley throwing in for the Heat FC. However, before that happens, we have substitutions coming in one player coming in and we will mention her as she touched that soccer ball i believe it is heaven lopez it looks like it is some of the clubs do have and a lot more having their numbers on their shorts I remember many years ago starting out that used soccer calling uh, the games and uh, the players didn't have the numbers on their shorts And there are some clubs now that have their names on the back of their jerseys. Couple of players coming in for Velocity White. And it's going to be uh, Rosie Rush. And I believe it was Kale Blackmore. Kale Blackmore comes in also. In the near side, Hannah Andrus under a lot of pressure into space. And Heat FC push it out of play at a near side. They want to reset up. Coming in now is Cheyenne Astle. Megan Martin getting a hand coming off. On the near side. And Kale Blackmore will throw it in. Intercepted her pass, intended that time for Hannah Andrus. Didn't quite get there. She'll try it again. But she finds Rosie Rush here, but only one strike of it. Going to try to retrieve it and knocked out of play there by Sydney Smith. Going to throw it in again. Kale Blackmore, they get it in the box this time. Down the center of the box. And a save on the play. Abby Stahl nearly beat the keeper. A little bit harder of a shot, and it would have beat her. But as she gets older, that 
strength of foot and leg is going to, to happen and she knows what to do to try to finish. And that will definitely be happening for her. At midfield now, Keat FC going to throw it in. Moments left here in the first half. They have the one nil lead and now they're trying to add to it with a quick run and a couple players fall down, but right there is Corinne Early Stanky. The keeper had already decided to uh, force the issue and cut off the angle. And uh, Steinke, if she was not there, that might have been a goal. So they avert the last try by Heat FC to try and add another goal, and they stay within one. It is 1-0 one at halftime. Stick around to watch uh, what uh, the coaches are saying to their players. And then we'll be back with the second half for the Mayor's Cup 2007. All right, the Bears Cup 2007 about ready to get started here in the second half. And uh, the girls under 11 bracket. And we are underway here in the second half. Up in the box. Pushing it up forward. Madison Jennings. going to be a free kick as say Madison Jennings was trying to get a, gain an advantage there the Heat FC Andrus in the space now looking for Jennings and ran out of real estate on the far side Intercepting though is Hannah Andrus in his face. And now they're gonna get an opportunity for a free kick. Down one nil. Ashton Evans gonna take the free kick for Velocity White. And it's heading toward the 18 yard box. They're still on a soccer ball, the all white. It's intercepted a couple times as they stand tall outside the box now. Putting pressure from the defensive third was Christine Richter on the outside. It's going to be a throw in. The throw in, there's Richter again trying to keep him from advancing. They move up a few more feet. She didn't line them, throwing it in. Line them looking for a player, but there in the space is Corinne Early Stanky. Oh, 
I want to mention these fields here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Betty Wilson Soccer Complex are outstanding. They just they just feel great. Really super soccer fields here in uh, the Summerlin area of Las Vegas. Velocity White. Soccer fields do not get much better than this. So there are other soccer complexes in the Las Vegas area, and they're not necessarily as nice as this one. And this one is outstanding. And that ball is heading for a retreat of the Heat FC. On it is Taylor Brule Stock. Brule Stock in the 18-yard box, but nobody's there that time. But she has the right idea. The idea there, though, was to try to get a runner in the central of the box and get somebody to uh, put it in the back of the net. Fresh players coming in, 30, 21, and 1. And those numbers are uh, Kale Blackmore. Again, Cheyenne Astle and Rosie Rush. And Madison Jennings again. Most got a strike on that one. And if so, it would have been the best chance for goal there. Abby Stahl in the central. As a teammate, going to try to send Abby forward, try to get the return pass. Kale Blackmore to throw it in. Astle double team, but still is able to strike it, but not far enough to get it to her teammate. That midfield, the battle ensues at midfield. Still trying to get it to a teammate with space. It could not do it, so coming back out with it. Into the corner now, Annie Rush. Still trying to stay with that. The soccer ball could not get to it. They uh, changed keepers in the second half. Michelle Cole is now out there on the field, and Rachel Brady is the goalkeeper in the second half for Velocity White. Annie Rush now in an 18-yard box. On a foot of Rosie Rush. Getting a touch and then a shot and a save by Paddleford. And they just couldn't quite beat Paddleford on the near side, but they definitely made her make a save. The far side, the mountains. Here uh, from the Summerland area in Las Vegas. In at midfield area. Hill Blackmore chasing. Putting pressure and challenging. But this time a little bit too much, so a free kick. Off the bounce, it just went by Rosie Rush, but she's there now in his space, and so was Hunter Johnson. Gets it out of danger, and Velocity White still with the soccer ball. It was knocked out by Heat FC. Gonna throw it in. 
So it's on a foot of Ariana Reyes with space. She goes down. And they're still on it. Heat FC still trying to keep the pressure. Here's Reyes again. And in the box. But they stand tall in the box. They're doing a fine job. Cheyenne Astle now for Velocity Wide. Not allowing Heat FC to continue on in that 18-yard box. Big play. And the big plays come sometimes in you don't realize how critical they are towards keeping you and giving you a chance to win. Because Reyes and company looked like they had some steam. And again, head coach Roland Stock substituting freely in his game. Keeping him fresh. He's got Megan Martin into the contest now, along with Katie Shake. And that is uh, Rachel Brady getting it started. And getting it started to Annie Rush. And now in the space there, Daisy Cabrera trying to get a runner onto it, but coming off her line there is Rachel Brady. And Brady. Go, Rachel. And very high up in the air. Not being able to bring it down was Katie Shea. Pushing ahead, manning it up to Abby Stahl, but that had too much uh, pace on it. It went to the Heat FC player who was intercepted by Madison Jennings on the far side. And it goes out of play, and they're going to get a throw in. Heat FC. Heat FC leading 1 0 here in the second half. Winning into the Heat FC, but Andrus comes back into that midfield, chasing the player down. Intercepted, and back they go the other way. Reyes and company have to retreat and play defense. And they have it now, though. Trying to get a counterattack going from the far side as they keep their passing game. And it was taken away from her by Daisy Cabrera over to Katie Shake. Down to Central, just going to take a shot. Into the center circle now. Velocity White have players there. And now it's Annie Rush. Rush now. On the near side, though, outside the box, Pete FC able to stand tall and push it up field. However, winds on the foot of Hannah Andrus. Andrus finds Abby Stahl, and she can't go any further as they stiffen up at the top of the box. Trying to stay with it is Ashton Evans. Reducing the size of the field very nicely. Velocity White now. And it goes into the box and way too much pace on it. Chasing it down there was Madison Jennings. Way too far away from her. Ariana Reyes, and she has a teammate. Kale in his space. Can't quite get to the soccer ball. They draw it back. Gail Blackmore again is being pressured. And it now is going to be a free kick as Blackmore doing her job in the space. Staying after the one with the geometric designs. Free kick from their own defensive half of the field. Smith on a run. Smith going around a couple of players. And those players tighten up, though. On the far side, Ashton Evans and Madison Cranmer doing a fine job. 
not allowing Smith to go towards the 18-yard box. And it is now going to result in a corner kick. And so now they have to go with a set piece to see what they can try and do. Make the best out of this attempt here down the field. Heat FC. Leading 1-0 though. On the left footed strike. As Velocity White playing well in and around the box. They're going to try it again, EFC. Trying to find the right player to run onto it. They got Reyes now. Reyes steps around one player, is going to take the shot. The header, another header. However, a quick turn though by Hunter Johnson. Johnson finds uh, Reyes again. Reyes drawing it back. Sidney Smith. Smith finds a player to the near side. But marking very well is Kale Blackmore. Not trying to allow anybody around her. And they give it up. Do this Heat FC. In at space, Hannah Andrus. Andrus winning it, sending it forward for a run. That time by Kale Blackmore, but she was dispossessed. And now Hannah Andrus on the near side got to retreat back and play defense. And it is taken away. And C might have been an offsides call. It was. So the offsides working against the Heat FC. And it's going to be a free kick from their own defensive third. Substitutes coming in for both teams. Taylor Brule Stock coming in. Also, Michelle Cole is coming in. Cole, who was the keeper in the first half. Rachel Brady now the keeper in the second. We'll take the free kick. A 1-0 game here in the second half. Winding our way about midway through. Anna Andrews. And getting a touch there is uh, Kale Blackmore. And it's going out of play. And it will be. It'll be a throw in for the Heat FC. The throw in down to Central now. Abby Stahl, pass intercepted. You got a whistle. And it'll go in a direction for a Velocity White. At midfield, have the free kick. Retreat back in their own defensive half. Heat FC. Ashton Evans just couldn't quite get it to her teammate as her same number on the alternate team is Sydney Smith intercepting. And they go back up the field. But now, back on the foot of Evans. Evans resisted there by Sidney Smith. And it goes out of play. But the Heat FC will throw it in. And so now it is going to be a throw in. Throw in for Velocity White. Now player goes down, and it's going to be a free kick again. 1-0, Heat FC leading. Again, as I mentioned earlier, Rolling Stock getting fresh players into the game, continuing to try and keep the pressure on the Heat FC. And they continue to stiffen up when they need to, does the Heat FC but so has the Velocity White in a big way to keep this game a one goal game. To the outside now. 
with Ashton Evans, and Evans on a run on that far side, along the far side, and it's going to be a throw in for Velocity White as it was knocked out. Knocked out by Heat FC. And they're going to get a fresh player in, Velocity White. Cheyenne Astle will bring it in. Kyle, Kale Blackmore will get a breather. Cheyenne Astle has a player and going to direct it toward the box, but they're able to intercept. However, still in their half of the field. But they have a runner from the back. And they want to continue to push it up the field. Try to have the numbers. And it's going to be a foul. And Abby Stahl will have the free kick. Abby Stahl playing tough in the central. Directed towards a couple of players there. One of them was Taylor Brule Stock. They didn't get it, but they have it now. Any rush. Any rush now on the soccer ball. Rush. Trying to continue to go forward in the 18-yard box, but they stand tall there again, EFC. And it's knocked out of play. On the near side. Going to be a throw in. One nails your score. Heat FC. You have to re-throw it again. Throwing it in again, Heat FC. But they get their throw in intercepted now. Taylor Brule stopped. Finding Ashton Evans down to Central. Evans still on a soccer ball, and she got dispossessed at the last moment. Had a run down to Central, but they stiffened up and took it away. And now here they go on a counterattack. Line them. But on it now is Abby Stahl winning it. And getting it over to uh, Michelle Cole. It goes out of play. It'll be a throw in for Velocity White. Off the bounce at midfield, trying to possess it. Can't quite get that next strike on it. So here's Ariana Reyes. And she was weaving her way, but it's kicked out to the far side of the box. On it now is Bradley. And Bradley can't do anything with it. As coming over there was Madison Cranmer. Fine job in that 18 yard box. If she doesn't come over there, it's a great chance to try to put one in the back of the net and gain what they want a two goal lead. But it is not. It is only a one goal lead, and they now have to try a CK, the Heat FC. Want to try to avert another opportunity to Velocity White. The Alaskan visitors in this uh, match here in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Summerlin area. On it now, there was uh, Cordy Merrill. They intercepted off of a bounce there. Miranda Bradley, Bradley looking for a teammate, but it caroms off the teammate and heads up field. They still have the numbers. They still have the soccer ball. Sheeston line them. Line them and then try to get a pass to somebody and was knocked out of play in a far side touch line. So again, trying to stay tough in their defensive third is the Velocity White. Time running out in this match. Ariana Reyes. Reyes now. Changing directions, falls down, and it's going to be a free kick. Ray is drawing a free kick. 
About eight or nine yards outside the box. Ray is going to try to get it in the box and try and see if they can get that two-goal lead, but it's intercepted. Standing tall was Andrus, but Reyes has it on her foot again. And that was just, where was it? Was it in the box or out of the box? Just outside the box. Very close that time from getting another penalty shot. But they are also very close, the Heat FC, here to try to get a score. Velocity White got to sit up the the, uh, the uh, wall, the defensive wall. They got three players jumping up and down. Now four. Out the bounce and a save made by Brady. Brady found it around the wall, and that was a fine shot by Daisy Cabrera. At this age, to be able to do that and get it on the net was quite outstanding. But there again, Rachel Brady doing a fine job of seeing that when it came and making the save. Turned out to be a fine soccer game here. Hope you're enjoying this one. The throw in, Velocity White. The throw in now by Megan Martin. Martin in her own defensive half. As that clock runs down, it becomes an urgency situation for Velocity White. On a quick strike by Hannah Andrus, but taken away again by the Heat FC. But winning it down to Central's Abby Stahl, but they won't, the midfielders won't allow her to go any further. And now the battle at midfield ensues. And it come out with it, Heat FC. Reyes, Reyes weaving her way. Reyes still on the ball. Reyes now gonna take a shot and goal. Ariana Reyes did that all by herself. She shows why she's going to be one of the tough players to deal with at this tournament. And it is two to nothing. Still time, but a two goal lead a lot different than a one goal lead. And so with limited time, Velocity White has to begin to keep it in the attacking area, and they got to keep it there for a long time and try and finish if they're to win this match. Abby Stahl intercepts a pass. Stahl is still on it. Stahl is going around players. Stahl still got some steam, but then they run her off the ball in the last moment. They can't find anybody to pass it to, and so it goes out of play at a far side touchline, and it'll be a throw in for Velocity White. The keeper now coming way off her line. And let's see, it's going to be a throw in. Rolling stock with the gamble here. But down 2 0. Got to try to reduce the size of the field. Understand exactly what he's trying to do. At the far side. Velocity White now. Down to Central, weaving their way. Still on the soccer ball. And on the near side, Megan Martin. And try to come out with numbers now. And nicely done that time by Madison Cranmer. And we have a whistle, and head coach Roland Stein going to run out there as one of his players is hurt. 2 0 is the score here in the second half. Michelle Cole comes out of the contest. Cole, somewhat injured in the knee area, and there's going to be a drop kick. And whoever came in, we will mention her as she touches that soccer ball here in this late part of the second half. 
2-0 score for Heat FC, who we personally, if this score holds, will have seen them win twice without giving up a goal. But Velocity White still has uh, different designs on that right now. Taylor Brule stock in his central. And trying to get to it there is Madison Cranmer, and she does. And on the near side, and a push by Megan Martin. It'll be a free kick. Heat FC, not in a hurry. Setting it up there is Miranda Bradley. And Bradley's going to give way to her teammate, number seven, Summer Tobby, to take this free kick. Off that free kick, it's intercepted by Hannah Andrus on the near side, but she ran out of real estate to try to get it to her teammate there, Annie Rush. Heat FC is going to throw it in. 2-0 they lead. And a push. And a ref saw that one. Courtney Merrill. Going to be a free kick. He's looking at his... Summer Tommy and Summer drives it down toward the 18 yard box to try to get a runner onto it. Too much pace on it and so intercepted and now a whistle and it's going to be a free kick and there's a double whistle. A great match between the Heat FC and Velocity White. Velocity White coming in here knowing the challenge, and they met the challenge in this day, but they just didn't meet it on the scoreboard. And the Heat FC able to win this one 2 0. Hope you enjoyed all the action in this game. The Summerlin area, Las Vegas, Nevada, in the Bears Cup 2007. Betty Wilson Soccer Complex. And stick with us. There will be comments from those who participated in the game today in just a moment. The Cook Inlet Soccer Club out of uh, Anchorage, Alaska. This is a first time for me. And these young ladies from Velocity White played a heck of a match today. And they ought to be commended. And you are? Kale Blackmore. OK. Kale, talk a little bit about uh, the match so far, the tournament more importantly, and uh, you know maybe some things getting down here. Well, I think we did pretty good so far. Um, you know, our first game, we won 4-0. to zero, And we played pretty fierce today, so. Okay, all right. And I know, uh, you know, coming down here to Vegas, you know, I mean, I heard you guys had snow and everything, and it's, it's, it's hotter down here and stuff. But um, it's got kind of like a summer vacation for you guys, right? Yep. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what school you go to? Lakehead Elementary. Okay. You like that school? Yeah. All right. Good, good. Um, you got a favorite teacher or subject over there? Uh, my favorite teacher is Ms. Chadoff. She's my fifth grade teacher. And probably my favorite subject would probably be health. Okay, that's that's interesting, and, and that's a good thing. We all need it, I tell you what. Okay, so let me talk to your teammate in the middle and tell us who you are. Um, Rachel Brady. Okay. Rachel, you got to play uh, keeper in the second half. Uh, you were out there in the first half, so you got a chance to run around and be in the, in the net, see the game from both angles. It was a fun game today, right? Yeah, it was very hot. <laughs> <laughs> but considering... You guys played like as if, um, you know, you could live here. I couldn't tell. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were like bulldogs, like the, the two on your, uh, yeah. 
All right, well, what school do you go to? Northern Lights ABC Elementary. Okay, you like that school? You got a favorite teacher subject over there? Um, yes, my favorite teacher is Mrs. Klatt. She was my third grade teacher. And my favorite subject is probably social studies or math. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Let me talk to your teammate, and you are? Cheyenne Astle. Okay, Cheyenne, talk a little bit about the game today. Um, I think we all did really good, and it was a very intense game. <laughs> and they are very, very strong and aggressive. And I think we all played really good, and, we've tried pl and we played our best. Well, they tried to uh, put uh, the heat on you guys just like their name, but you guys put some heat on them, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, what school you go to? I go to Grace Christian. Okay. Uh, favorite subject or teacher over there? My favorite teacher is Mrs. McDonald. She's my fifth grade teacher, and my yeah. favorite subject is science. All right. Science. Outstanding. I got a dad that teaches science anyway. And you are? I'm Megan Martin. Okay. Megan, uh, talk a little bit about the game today, maybe your trip coming down here, the whole experience. Well, our trip coming down here was really long, and it was snowing when I left and mm -hmm. stuff. And then to get, today's game, I don't know. I didn't really like how the ref was refing. Okay. Some of those calls he called on me, I thought that they were baloney. <laughs> <laughs> well, well spoken. I tell you what, you guys played with a lot of intensity, a lot of velocity at times, like your name. Um, what school do you go to? I go to Bayshore Elementary. Okay. My favorite subject is math, and I don't know which one to pick, this year or third grade. Well, I'd have to say Mrs. Mar Ms. Mrs. McDonald was my favorite teacher. I had her in the third grade. Okay. Well, and Mrs. Rose. Okay. All righty. Girls, I'm going to give you one last chance to say something. Look at the camera and say something. You got to cheer or do anything you want to say. What? On three. One, two, two three. Velocity! Good job, girls. A lot of fun then, huh? Alrighty, and then you are? Katie Shake. Okay, Katie, talk a little bit about the game today. Uh, you guys are all over the field. You guys are doing all kinds of challenges and stuff like that. Very aggressive. Yeah, I think we did really, really good because it's kind of a different climate, so we're mm -hmm. kind of getting used to it. But okay. I think we did really good. Oh, you guys would probably like to play them maybe a couple of weeks, get climatic changes here, and uh, get adjusted and everything, and try it again in a couple of weeks, see what you can do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you guys have done a great job. It shows why you were 24-4-4, uh, four and four, I believe, coming down here. Uh, what school did you go to? Um, I go to Lakehood Elementary. Okay. Uh, you got a favorite teacher or subject? Brother? Yeah, my favorite teacher is Mr. Hundorf, who is a fifth grade teacher. And my favorite subject is probably math. Okay. Well, I'm excited about Alaskan soccer because you guys uh, showed, uh, you guys got a lot of great uh, future at playing this game of soccer, and you've done a great job with it. And you are? Rosie Rush. Okay. Rosie, talk a little bit about the game. I think we played pretty well because we're not really used to all the stuff here. Uh, it's new for us. Yeah. And, yeah. I but think uh, you guys were uh, in the far north and you did great. Uh, you're one of the best teams in Alaska, so obviously it showed out there. At least it did to me. Thanks. Okay. Talk about the school you go to and maybe a favorite teacher or subject over there. My school is Northern Lights ABC. Um, and my favorite teacher is Mrs. Corey, I'd have to say. And then um, my favorite subject would probably be recess. Okay, that, that'll work. Let me talk to your teammate on the outside, and you are? Taylor Brulee Stock. Okay, Taylor, talk a little bit about the game today. Uh, I thought we did good. Uh, the other team was good too, but we did, we, we, we could beat them, but. Um, we were just, because we're not used to the heat here, and uh, we're new to it. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys could have fooled me, I'll tell you what. I mean, there's there's club, the club yesterday, <laughs> they're, they're from around here. I mean, actually, they're from here, and they <laughs> didn't do well against them at all, and you guys did fantastic. So uh, what school you go to? Kincaid Elementary. Okay, you got a favorite subject or teacher over there? Uh, my favorite teacher is um, Mrs. Chada. And my favorite subject is gym. All right, good, good. Okay, girls, I'm gonna give you the mic. One last thing. Look in the. There you go. One, two, three. Hi, Anchorage. All right. Good job, girls. Eat here, and uh, we're new to it. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you guys could have fooled me. I'll tell you what. I mean, there's there's club. The club yesterday, <laughs> they're they're from around here. I mean, actually, they're from here, and they <laughs> didn't do well against them at all. And you guys did fantastic. So, uh, what school you go to? Kincaid Elementary. Okay. You got a favorite subject or teacher? Uh, my favorite teacher is um, Mrs. Chada, and my favorite subject is Jim. All right. Good. Good. Okay, girls. I'm gonna give you the mic. One last thing. Look in the. There you go. One, two, three. Hi, Anchorage. All right. Good job, girls. And your? Corinne really stanky. Okay, Corinne, talk a little bit about this game. Well, I thought we did pretty well against the team, the team that we played. Um, I think we could have saved some of the goals. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but. You, you, you gave it the best you, you could in this game, yeah. right? Okay. Well, uh, it showed out there. What school you got to? I'm homeschooled. Okay. You like that? Does that work for you? All right. Yeah. That's what, what's important. What's your favorite subject out of the homeschool? Math. All right. Another mathematician. There you go. Um, let me talk to your teammate here. And you are? I'm Michelle Cole. Okay. Michelle, talk about the game today. Um, well, I think we did really well. I think that we had fun playing and I'm happy that we came to this tournament. It's a mm -hmm. lot of fun. All right, all right. I'm happy you guys did too because uh, you showed the, the competition of this tournament and it is pretty pretty good, real good. Uh, let me talk to your team. Oh, well, before I do that, let me find out what school you go to and, uh, you know, maybe a favorite subject or a teacher. Um, I go to Bear Valley Elementary. Okay. And my favorite subject is math, and my t my favorite teacher is Miss Utrinka. Yeah, we got a Bear Valley from our uh, neck of the woods, but they didn't have too good of a time with the fires and stuff. Anyhow, all righty, let me talk to your teammate. And you are? Ashton Evans. Okay. Ashton, talk a little bit about the game, maybe the trip down here. I think we did really well. We played our hearts out, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. It was really fun, too. Yeah, heck yeah. All righty. Um, so you're the captain, because I see that on your... Uh... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> a lot of fun being the captain. Yeah. Okay. It's somewhere the captain thing on their uh, arm or whatever. But, uh, okay, uh, what school you go to? Bear Valley Elementary. Okay, all right. That's the same school. Um, favorite teacher, subject only? Well, I don't really have a favorite teacher, because all of mine have really been nice. Um, my favorite, uh, my teacher right now is Mrs. Monrain. And my favorite subject is reading. Oh, they're trying to fog horns over there, and there's no fog around here. Okay, let me talk to your teammate to the outside, and you are? I'm Christine Richter. Okay, Christine, talk a little bit about the game and then maybe the trip coming down here. Um, I think we played really well, and um, the trip was fun. We've never traveled before, so, well, I haven't, they have. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm uh, just curious, um, do they have a kids park or something around here or something that you guys go to or going to see or something like that? No, not really. Yeah, we go swim at the hotel. We go swim at the hotel. Okay, well, that'll work. That, that, that's work. Okay, well, you guys can say something all together, and I'm going to give you the mic on three. Okay. Go Bulldogs. One, two, three. Go Bulldogs! Okay, I'm here with the last four, the Velocity White, and, le and definitely not the least, and you are? Madison Cranmer. Okay. Madison, talk a little bit about this game today. I think we did really well. We were pressuring them, and we were up there a lot, and we really did good. Okay. I like the shades, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what do you think uh, you got? You guys think you can play them in the finals? I mean, you still got a chance? Yes. Okay. Uh, I would, I would, you know what? I would come back for a finals game like that. Maybe, maybe so. Either way, I wish you guys well. Um, what school you got to? Lakehood Elementary. Okay. Uh, favorite subject or teacher over there? My favorite teacher would be Miss Toso, and my favorite subject would be PE. Okay. And you are? Madison Jennings. Okay, Madison, talk about. You were out there putting a lot of pressure on them, and uh, saw it many times, and uh, just couldn't quite get it, you know, to where you could get a goal, but. Um, I think they remember your number. I'm sure they do remember my number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you guys would, uh, you know, you, t you had to try to adjust to the weather and everything like that. I'm sure you guys would like to uh, bring it down about uh, 20 or 30 degrees and play them again, see how they like that, huh? Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Well, you guys uh, did a great job. Um, what school you go to and uh, favorite teacher, favorite subject? I go to Spring Hill Elementary, and my favorite teacher is Miss Ansley, and my favorite subject is music. Okay. Great job. Great job. And let me talk to your teammate to your right, and you are? Annie Rush. Okay. Annie, talk a little bit about this whole experience, and it's not over with because uh, I'm sure you guys got uh, some more great soccer in you. Talk a little about it. I think it's awesome we get to come down here. Mm -hmm. I think we did good, and I think we'll do well right. in this tournament. Right. Have you guys been to the Surf Cup yet? No. Okay, I think you guys are headed that way. <laughs> you guys play your soccer. Um, what school do you go to? Northern Lights ABC. Right, you got a um, favorite subject, favorite teacher over there? My favorite subject is math. My favorite teacher is Miss Phillips. Okay. All right. We talk to your teammate to the outside, and you are? Hannah Andres. Okay. Hannah, talk a little bit about this experience playing in this game. I think it's great being down here with my team and everything. It's just, it's a great experience. It is. It is. Priceless. Okay. Um, anything that you think that you guys might be able to do to get to the finals? Is there anything that you can, you can change? Um... Definitely just getting to the ball first and trying to switch the field. That'd get us there. I know, I know you guys are going to do it. At least you're going to attempt it, that's for sure. Um, what school you go to and what subject? Um, I go to Amali Elementary, and my favorite subject's probably reading or writing. Okay. Those are good things. you got to know them. Okay, girls, here's your opportunity. I'm going to give you, what's that little thing in your hands? It is a poker chip that the other team gave us. Well, at least they weren't, uh, you know, sour sports or anything, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, girls, I'm going to give you the mic. On three. One, two, three. Go Bulldogs! Again, uh, the visitors from Alaska who, um, it was 24-4-4 and uh, coming into this tournament. And uh, I tell you what, you guys won one game yesterday and then already today showing uh, what you can continue to do. Uh, head coaching staff and a head coach here, Mr. Stock. Talk How you doing? About it. Yeah. Uh, I felt the girls played great tonight. Uh, okay. They did a very good job. One of our team goals is to never give up, and they, they did just that. They never gave up. They worked hard, and we're proud of them for that. Okay. We just ran into a good team today. Okay. Well, um, definitely the girls, um, you know, they mentioned a little bit about the weather and stuff, but the thing is it seemed like it didn't show out there on the field, and they were giving it 110%. And even though their names were the heat, it seemed like they were putting the heat on them, and if it wasn't for, you know, a little penalty shot, which I don't think at this age they should do anyway, but who am I? You know, I don't have the power, you know. But uh, I thought it was a great game, and it could have went you guys' way. Yeah, the PK, that had nothing yeah. to do with the outcome. Yeah. That's just thing that happens in the yeah. game. That's part of the game. Yeah. Like I said, I felt we outplayed the other team yeah. for, yeah. Most, for most of the game, mm -hmm. and uh, that's one of the reasons you play the game. Sometimes yeah. the bounces don't go your way. And uh, it's just good life lessons for these girls. Well, we've had two games in a row um, from another soccer club where they, they played well, lost in the very fight, last few minutes or whatever. And, but they showed that they learned a lot from the experience of playing a good competitive team. And, and obviously, um, you know, you guys' competitive level up there is getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, our program is getting stronger and stronger. And uh, Alaska soccer is coming up. Okay. We're going to be there soon. We're going to let the guy to the middle uh, in your. Dennis Martin. Okay, Dennis, go ahead and talk maybe a little bit about some of those things that have helped make their programs up there better. Well, one thing we got now is we have indoor domes, so when the wintertime hits, we don't have to shut down soccer or go play in gyms. We can play full field now. Right. So just the year-in, year-out experience, our girls are already making big leaps. And actually, I really would like to play that team again. Uh, 45 degrees and raining in Anchorage. Let's see how we go. <laughs> oh man! Well, I tell you, I tell you what. Uh, you know, you may get that chance one day. Who knows? You know, the, you know, you may be older too by that time. You know, so uh, and it'd really be fun. But um, yeah. Um, anything else you'd like to mention? No, the girls played great. Okay. All hard. And the man to the outside, you are. Coach uh, Kevin Blackmore. Okay, Kevin. Talk maybe a little bit about uh, how the parents work to, to, to arrange all this stuff and make sure the girls are on a plane and how maybe any special things you guys try to do to keep them, you know, it's a long plane flight and, you know, you get young, youngsters and stuff. Well, you know, it takes a team effort just like in the game and, you know, from our team manager to the parent volunteers. We had fundraisers that we did all summer long. And uh, really it was, it was a combination of 16 parents and 16 kids oh, all getting wow. together. So... Uh, no, it was, a, it was a great experience for us. Okay. 
Okay. Uh... Well, guys, uh, we're going to conclude here because I know you want to get on. You got other things to do, and um, you know I want to wish you a great plane flight Thank back. You. Definitely, Thank you each much. one of you. And uh, we hope to see you again. You know, we're out of San Diego. Hopefully, maybe you guys be in a tournament over there. Or if not, we'll meet you over here. It doesn't matter. You know, Thank you very keep, much. Keep bringing them on down. That's going to do it here from the Betty Wilson Soccer Complex in the Summerlin area of Las Vegas, Nevada, where the final score was 2 to nothing in favor of the Heat FC in his girls under 11 silver match. But it was a great competitive match. I know you enjoyed it. So save it on the hard drive. God bless yourself. And we hope to see you next time.